Candy Cane. Hello YouTube, Film Buff 06 here, coming your way with just a short review of the, in my opinion, underrated horror thriller film Joyride, aka Roadkill, which was released in 2001 was written by Clay Tarver and co-producer J.J. Abrams and was directed by John Dahl who, who had previously made The Last Seduction with Linda Fiorentino and Rounders with Matt Damon and Edward Norton. Um, J.J. Abrams apparently came up with the idea to write the script to this film after becoming influenced by watching the 1971 Steven Spielberg movie Duel, which of course was Spielberg's directorial debut around that time. And in a way, this movie kind of follows in almost the same vein as Duel, ironically enough. Um, there is also a really crappy direct-to-DVD sequel that was made in 2008, subtitled Dead Ahead, and all I can say about that is that it is nowhere near as good as this original film. Plus, I'm not going to review it anyway. Anyway, the story of the film is that this guy named Lewis Thomas, played by the late Paul Walker, decides that he is going to try and impress his girlfriend, Venna, played by Lily Sobieski, by buying a special 1971 Chrysler Newport car, and thus embarking on a cross-country road trip to pick her up from Colorado. But along the way, he bails his older, more troublesome brother, Fuller, played by Steve Zahn, out of jail at Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, during their trip, Fuller decides that they should buy a special CB radio for their car, which they do. And then both brothers decide to use that CB radio to play a childish prank on a certain random truck driver codenamed Rusty Nail, voiced by Ted Levine, by vocally impersonating a young woman named Candy Kane and setting up a false sexual meeting with Rusty Nail in this remote motel, which, um, which, um, weirdly enough, which, weirdly enough or not, resembles the, um, the Bates Motel out of Psycho. But suddenly, this practical joke goes horribly wrong, when Rusty Nail turns out to be this murderous psychopath who, who hates being messed around with and angrily seeks revenge on the t and angrily seeks revenge against the two brothers and Venna by relentlessly stalking them in his truck in order to kill them um, and this and um, which is the same which is almost the same plot as as Duel in a way. Now what did I think of Joyride? 
Um, I don't really have um, have an awful lot to say about this film because this film is so good. While it may not be as good as Duel, I personally still think that this is a freaking awesome movie and one that hasn't got the real credit it so deserves. This film was suspenseful, exciting and intense and really got me on the edge of my seat. See, the whole entire time. The story is just awesomeness personified, if, if a tad predictable at times. Um, Clay Tarver and especially J.J. Abrams do such a genius job with their script. John Dahl does such a remarkable job directing. The acting all round is great. I mean, Paul Walker and Steve Zahn share a brilliant chemistry with each other, and both of them do great jobs in their roles, as well as Lily Sobieski, who also looks um, pretty attractive. I mean, I mean, but the person who steals the film, really, is Ted Buffalo Bill Levine, voicing Rusty Nail, the main antagonist of the film. He has one of these voices that is so creepy and so calculating and almost and, and almost in a way reminded me of, um, of you know, Kiefer Sutherland's voice out of, um, Phone Booth. Um, now with a character like Rusty Nail, I kind of like the idea that we only get to hear his voice and not see much of his face because that just simply makes the character's presence in the film just really mysterious and quite terrifying, it has to be said. The film moves along at such a really, really fast pace thanks to the amazing editing and I wasn't, and I wasn't, and I wasn't even bored at any point throughout the film. The music is intense and dramatic. The cinematography and colours are outstanding. I mean, they perfectly capture the atmosphere and tension of the film and almost give it the feel of, you know, a classic Alfred Hitchcock film in a sense. Um, for example in the for example in the um, the scene where the truck where the truck chases the two main characters in this cornfield and um, yeah the the twist ending is quite shocking, which of course is to be expected in a film of this genre. Um, because I don't have an awful lot, because again I don't have an awful lot to say about this film, I overall really enjoyed Joyride. I think it's not only one of the best Paul Walker films, not only one of the best Steve Zahn films, but it's also one of the most underrated movies I have ever, ever seen. And I personally don't get why it has been so overlooked. I would, I would very much recommend this film to you if you are a fan of Paul Walker, if you're a fan of Steve Zahn, 
or even if you're a fa if you are a fan of horror films in general, um, my rating for Joyride is going to be nine out of ten. Go and check. Just go and check this movie out. Now, feel free to leave a comment in the section below and let me know your thoughts on Joyride. Plus, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, which is going to be a review of Battle Los Angeles from 2011, do take care, everyone. And goodbye.